everyone doing today? Here we are for another episode of Suds on Saturday. And before we begin, I do want to apologize for not posting a video last week. I know a couple of my friends and the family were upset. Um, I don't have an excuse. I just didn't have anything pre-recorded and I just didn't feel like making an episode. I was tired. I didn't sleep well. I woke up at like three, couldn't get back to bed. So I, just, I wasn't in the mood. So I apologize for that and I'm going to try to do better. But this week brings us Cigar City High Lie IPA. Uh, I'm very excited to see Cigar, uh, Cigar City come out here. Uh, they're from Tampa, Florida. I've um, heard good things about them. And the only time I've ever had Cigar City was the Lips of Faith. Cigar City and New Belgium. It was an ale brewed with Anaheim and Mirage chilies. So I don't remember what it tasted like. Um, I think it was decent which means Cigar City probably did all the work because anytime uh, New Belgium pairs up with anyone, it's usually the other brewery that carries them. It's very similar to uh, Hop Kitchen number four, I believe it is. Uh, full collaboration when Odell totally dominated that beer. So, and New Belgium just, they just sneak in, try to put their name on it. They suck. So, I'm excited to try just a normal Cigar City beer. Uh, it's an IPA, 65 IBUs. Seven and a half ABV, so that's definitely a little high. Uh, it's a little higher than this guy. Let's see, coming in seven. Do I really even need to look that up? <laughs> oh, that's my bottle of Odell. In case you can't see. So let's give this a whirl. Um, I just bought it, and oddly enough, it's very fresh. It says it's canned on March 1st of 2018, so it, it got to us pretty quick, which I'm impressed. So, oh, it smells good too. Damn. Uh, citrus forward. Yeah, I definitely get the citrus. Clementine, orange peel, and caramel malt. Ooh. I don't normally like East Coast IPAs. I mean, I am a West Coast guy. There's not much I like about the East Coast, uh, if anything. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, other than my family, of course, and Trogues. Oh, my friends, but my friends are like family. So anyway, other than that, um, I am normally a West Coast guy, a uh, West Coast IPA guy. So uh, I know a lot of our West Coast breweries try to make East Coast IPAs. I just, I don't care for them. I think uh, Odell actually tried to do it the last time I was there. I'd have to go back and, and check. But anyway, let's give this a look. Yeah, nice, clear copper color. Just, damn, it smells amazing. Oh, yeah, real good. It's actually it's not as citrusy as I thought. It's very hoppy. The pine. Oh, yeah, I can definitely get the orange. There's a lot of orange to it. A little bit of lemon. Some grapefruit. Oh, it definitely smells delicious, though. So let's give it a whirl. Cheers. Top backwards. Tasty. What is it, 65 IBUs? What is, did they put IBUs on their bottle? No, I didn't think they did. I don't know, it, it's just missing something. Uh, you know, it does say the caramel malt, which it really does have. Um, I think that's why I don't like it. It's just, uh, when I want to drink an IPA, I want it to punch me in the face. I want it to be hop forward, hop backwards, hop middle. I just want hops. And this is just, it kind of mellows it out too much. I mean, you get beers like uh, Green Flash Palette Wrecker, which is a little intense. And uh, oh, I didn't put it up there. That uh, Fee, Oh, Fee Fi Fo Fum from Odell, their, their triple IPA I did a couple of weeks ago. That was intense so there are IPAs that are just a little uh, out there but this one's got great flavor and it would be really good if it wasn't so malty and I know that's the problem I have uh, the same thing with Trogue's uh, Perpetual IPA it's good it just doesn't have that kick on the core it's not as clean and crisp as I like it um, so, 
I guess I'm glad drink fresh do not age. Who would age a 7.5% IPA? They really need to put that on the can? So, anything else good on the can? Well, that's pretty interesting. What? Oh, I'm going to have to research this. It says brewed and canned by Oscar Blues Brewery, LLC. That's in Colorado. Lions, I think. Longmont. Longmont? Lions. One of those. What? These people get bought out or something? Oh, I guess I should have done my homework on this. Well, whatever, I, I, I looked up that later, but uh, it's interesting. Now I'm sidetracked and could possibly be talking poorly about a Colorado beer, which I only do if it's from New Belgium. Isn't there one other place? No, I think it's just New Belgium. Um, Good thing I said this beer was good, just not great. Oscar Blues makes good beer that's not great. Um, Dale's Pale is good. Their IPA is good, but then they do make 1050, which is great. And Barrel Age 1050, which is even better. Uh, what else do they make? Uh, good Night, that's a good one. Old Chubb's really good. But this is about Oscar Blues. This is about... High Lie IPA from Cigar City Brewing Company. I'm just all over the place. Yeah, I took one week off and now I'm just like confused. So, I mean, it's a really good beer. It's bold and approachable. That's what it says on the can. I wouldn't say it's bold. It's approachable. Um, I have a couple of friends who would probably like this more than me. Because it's uh, it's definitely, it's not hoppy enough for me, but it's very flavorful. So I think uh, I probably will share some of this. I bought a six pack. So, K-Man, G-Man, if you guys want some, I'll, uh, I'll bring it over sometime or sneak it under your desk at work or whatever. Not with the pig though, stupid pig. I mean, it's a good beer, it's very drinkable, but I wouldn't get it again. Uh, for the same price, I paid for uh, Odell IPA. Odell IPA, the Shoots, the Abyss, and every other beer that ever existed, ever. But for the same price, and this is even more alcoholic. So you're getting drunk quicker. Nah. I mean, Odell IPA is already strong enough. I don't want anything higher than seven. That's ridiculous. If I want to get drunk that quick, I'll just do shots of whiskey or something. I mean, that's, I want to enjoy my beer. I don't want to get outest. Unless John Cullen was there, and then I get outest. He's cool. He's not a shoot pirate. But, uh, oh, yeah, no, I didn't have any Cigar City shirts, so I decided to wear the uh, best character in the Mario Party series. Now, I know... This is a beer review, but we'll turn to video gaming for a second. And Donkey Kong, hands down the best. He's better than Wario, who's really fat. Peaches is just stupid, can't avoid Bowser. Mario's a dumb, I don't even know, he's just stupid. Waluigi, his legs are too long and he's awkward. And although Wario is German, so I'll give him credit for that. But DG is the best, so. Cheers to DG, and cheers to this beer being pretty good, and here's to feeling good all the time.